Welcome back to our summer Bible study on the book of Psalms. So we've been journeying through the most famous Psalm, Psalm 23, and so we're now at the, the kind of turning point of, of this Psalm because it's all, it's, at this point God has led us to the places of rest and the places of, of abundance. But what do we do with the experience of much of life where we may not feel that? And so Psalm 23 continues. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. So again, I like the older translations that you'll find, for example, in the King James, for even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and both are, are valid translations, darkest valley or the valley of the shadow, shadow of death. Um, but even in the midst of those really tough times of life, those times where our, our reputation or our prosperity or our safety is at risk, is that being able to trust God even in those times and not fearing evil, but trusting that God will deliver us through that time and you know the rod and the staff both direct and correct and and it is this sense to where you know we need those boundaries we need those those places to say this is the way to walk and we need someone to kind of help us feel safe within that journey and and those become especially important in the midst of those times where we're fearful of evil or fearful of, of those dark times in life. And then the metaphor changes. So we've been with the metaphor of a shepherd leading the sheep. But now the metaphor changes to one inviting to a banquet. God prepares a table for us. And again, this is a very common image in Scripture to where God prepares a table for, for those. But it's also in the presence of enemies. And so for me, there's, there's a couple ways you can read this. So one, it's that God prepares a table and welcomes the faithful one to the table while the enemies see and watch. But another reading of this is that God prepares a table and the enemies are there too. But they're not no longer viewed and separated as enemies. They're no longer those who are there who are there to oppress. They are those who are now brought into the to use the previous metaphor, brought, in, brought into the flock. That they become a part of this, this celebration banquet. Then the anointing head with oil and, and cup overflowing. So again, anointing with oil was something that was done for the sick, but it was also done for those who were leaders. So uh, you know, for example, when kings were um, lifted up, they were anointed with oil. When priests were lifted up, they were anointed with oil. When prophets, prophets may have been, um, but certainly judges and kings and, and priests were anointed with oil as a sign of God's calling of their thing. And so here is this place where God has welcomed them to banquet, and then God has also anointed them as special, as set aside, as sanctified, as holy. And the cup overflowing. Again, it's that image to where that even in the experience of enemies, there is more than enough. There are things to celebrate. And I think that it's that, uh, that change of, of vision from what we often see. Because I think so often when we encounter vision or we encounter enemies or we encounter trouble, our mindset goes to scarcity. There's not enough. My cup is half full or even less. But the psalm talks about a, an experience that even in the presence of enemies, that God provides more than enough, and my cup overflows. So we'll be back tomorrow to finish up this beautiful psalm.